Right, no messing around here. Straight away, why Egan Bernal will win the Tour de France. So, number one, if you haven't seen it, Egan Bernal has just won the Tour de Suisse. He won the youth classification, the general classification, fourth in the points, second in the mountains. He dominated overall. He won a stage uh, to St. Gothard. He also came second in this stage, but realistically, like, he's just unbelievably, on un unbelievable, good, unbelievable form. 11th in an individual time trial, third into the stage, um, which was a hilly clean stage. Um, Finished just behind Tolhook, but realistically he won the stage from the GC perspective. Obviously, Tour de Suisse didn't have the strongest guys, um, but individual time trial um, on the second. This is the second one. He beat Lawson Craddock, who's very solid, won a Giro, um, who's come close to winning Giro stage before. Uh, beat Soler, Matthews, winning Anaconda, Bodnar. He's been some very good guys. Um, if we look at the first time trial, I've got some power data from that. He finished 26th. Okay, it's not the best, but it's a short TT. Um, he didn't lose too much time. He beat Nikias Arn, set by Marker, beat Tish Benut. Right, he's beaten some solid, solid guys. So if we go into that power data, we will see that first of all, it doesn't look that impressive, only 329 watts. But if we look at the effort itself, which is this one here, he averaged 3875 watts. Um, which if we t if we just actually go for the proper thing, is 375 watts. And basically, when he's riding along, 370 for the second half and for the first half before the turnaround, um, which is pretty much what this course was. He was riding at 400 watts. Um, so he obviously didn't pace it well, especially considering it's minus 1%. But anyway, nonetheless, you've seen that Egan Bernal has some mega, mega form. Um, 375 watts. Um, he's done, I think, 365 watts of 40 minutes in the Tour of California TT. Um, but I'd say in terms of time trialing, he's looking he's looking very good. In terms of recovery, which you think about his time trial positions, he's gone from uh, sort of losing a fair amount of time, 23 seconds. So five seconds behind Garrett Thomas, um, who's known as a good time trialist um, for GC boys. Um, and then obviously Garrett Thomas didn't race this one, but you know, he then finished 11th on a longer time trial. And um, yeah, so I'm thinking it's looking good uh, in terms of that. Like he hasn't posted any other data from the week, unfortunately, this is a Strava here. Generally, if he uploads a ride, um, like he will upload the power, um, but unfortunately maybe Team Sky don't want him to upload his power. So we've seen that he's got good power. We've seen he's going well on the mountains. Now, the next reason why I think he's gonna win, uh, which is obviously, important for all people is the route so the first one here is just a sprint stage so relevant um stage two we'll just go through all the quick stages uh team time trial he'll, he'll do well here um more sprint stages nothing nothing really relevant hilly stage um plunge to belfie which is about a 20 minute power test a little less than that nine percent um the whole way up uh seven kilometers yeah so about 20 minutes for these boys um well that's what the segment seems to be and yeah anyway, he'll do well on that so that's another mountaintop finish he'll he'll get some time on some of the other boys um, stage seven, stage eight, all of these a bit medium mountains, not not really hugely exciting. Um, decent stage here in Banya de Bigor, uh, Col de Paris Sud and Orda Orquette de Ancazan. Um, okay, but look at the next day, we've got summit finish on the Tourmalet. Bernal will be taking time on absolutely everyone on that stage. Um, we have the next uh, day, another summit finish, 11.8k at 7%. So that's two summit finishes back to back. So Bernal's behind time. Team Sky, Team Ineo, sorry, as they're now called, will be bringing the race back and Bernal will be putting time into people. Flat stage, no one cares. Um, again, this is a weird stage. Is it a sprint stage? But it doesn't really matter for Bernal. He'll be doing well. And then we go into the Alps um, and you can see the first stage here. Uh, big HC cat up the Galibia, but finishes in Val Valois. So no GC changes on that day for sure because Galibia, uh, I'm not exactly sure. Oh, yeah, the side they're doing it at... Um, up the Lourdes Ray, I've actually done that very easy climb really for like it's only at five five percent max so um not gonna be too hard there'll be no GC changes that day next day um tough finish up to teen uh 7.4 kilometers at seven percent and they go up the Lizaran before uh 12.9k at seven seven and a half percent so again Bernal will be taking time on that if he needs to and then we have the final stage up Valteran uh, which is a monster it's 33k at five and a half percent but I don't really see too many GC impacts on that stage so Bernal's probably going to hit the tour pretty hard, hold on to some form, get time in the uh, Pyrenees, and uh, chill out in the Alps. So yeah, that's my prediction for the Tour de France. Uh, Bernal's going to win it. Don't really see anyone else coming anywhere near him so far. Um, obviously, the Dauphiné was... I didn't really see anyone who looked great at all. There was no one who was like, wow, they look good. I mean, Wout Pools won a stage. Fuglesang looked good, and Bookman looked all right as well. But like again, I don't think they're... They haven't really shown too much more Grand Tour potential than um, Egan himself. So um, it's going to be interesting. I, obviously, fuglesang has got a top 10 and stuff, but like no one else looked that mega. So I reckon the person who's going to win it is going to be Egan Bernal. And looking at his TT data, he's looking in top, top condition. 
So anyway, cheers for watching. Hope you did enjoy um, this video. If you want me to do any more predictions, I probably will do a proper like top five prediction. But this is just like Swiss finish yesterday, and I just thought, you know what? He's just gonna win it, isn't he? So here he is, Aya Manal, winner of the 2019 Tour de France, in my opinion. Uh, so yeah, anyway, cheers for watching. Hope you did enjoy, and I'll see you in the next one.